Welcome back everyone, welcome back to more Let's Play Dead Rising, the Infinity Mode run. I'm of course Black Shadow, and uh, we are embarking on our 10th video now of uh, the Infinity Mode run. It's kind of hard to know exactly how many videos this is going to take, but uh, you know, in, in 10 videos we're uh, into day 6 now, which is pretty good. Uh, we are rather close to my target of at least making 7 days, so I can say, yay, 100% of the game... And it can be, like, a, a, another trophy for the cabinet. At any rate, uh, so yes, I have waited not too long this time. We've just gone more or less into the morning of the uh, sixth day. Uh, my cash register plan has worked. It has uh, held all evil at bay, which is pretty damn sweet. So, with that in mind, it is going to now be time for us to start going on a bit of a war. And uh, now we've hit into day six. Some of the various um, bosses of the game that you've already combated have now started to respawn. We are going to be fighting quite a few of them. And I have written down where they are largely supposed to be. So, after a quiet couple of days in the mall, just uh, letting time tick away, it's time for us to get our hands dirty once more. Lovely. Right, so, as it turns out, the first one is actually pretty close to us. So yeah, we've just crossed into uh, day six now. Only just. That is a lot of zombies. I don't mind using the shotgun a little bit here. I've got no problems with that. Need to free up some space anyways. Because of course, we're going to be taking on bosses. Hopefully I'm going to be doing a really good job of it. Whoops, didn't mean to press that. Did that zombie just try to hit me with an up with a hand that he did not have? But it looks like it. Out of my way. Right, okay then. So, first up on the list of uh, soon to be eliminated, hopefully, should be over yonder. Wasn't there some, like, yoghurt or something in one of these rooms? Like, some health? I seem to remember there being some health. What was it? The store up here? Was it, uh, the optics place? I think it was the optics place. Wasn't there? there was supposed to be, like, a little bit of health in there. Ah, we should be fine. We've got enough on us. Hopefully. I'm sure you can hear the gunfire, folks. Because Joe Slade is back, and she is back where she actually should be, folks, in the uh, the, the um, store where she had all the girls captive. Have some of those apples. Oh shit! Ooh! Come on, zombies, get involved! Help me out! I'd rather not. Ooh, is a queen. Ow. No. There we go. Knee drop that zombie there. Oh, shit. That's bad. Get up, Frank. Please get up. Oh, shit. My sword's broke. I didn't plan on that happening. Josie is pretty content to just sit there and just shoot away at me, which I'm not exactly cool with. I need a weapon. I'm guessing there's not going to be very much actually in here for us to use. Oh, there's some yogurt in here. I didn't notice that. Ow. Ah, you missed. Go, zombie. Hit her! Square in the face! Get her while she's reloading! Yes! Oh shit! Now she's upset! The zombie has triggered her! Ooh, close! Yes! Wow, I actually sure got did quite a bit of damage there. I'm pretty happy with that. 
You're coming with some new tricks here, lady. Man, this sucks. I do not have any particular weapons here. This is really, really not helping. She's getting uh, into some problems, though, with the undead. Oh, fuck, I missed. Ah, my face. All of my face. No. Just don't have any melee weapons. This is so unfair. Well, that works. It's better than nothing. Oh, shit. Well, that was an unfortunate tag teaming. This is regretful. Yes. Go, zombie. Puncher. Oh, shit. No! You know what the worst part of this is? I... I can't even blame anyone. I cannot even blame anyone. I... Sometimes on this channel, I've been a victim of pretty rough luck, of um, unfortunate circumstances. That was bad. That was absolutely stupid. And I think the, the two times that I've died in this in these runs have both been to Joe. Who, in the main campaign, was the easiest boss we faced. I waltzed in, chainsawder, victory. Sean was just as easy, although I showed him off a little bit more. Joe, I just came in and smited her. And I guess that she has, uh, she's repaid me. For the humiliation that I showed her. And she has done exactly the same to me in kind. Right now. Yep. Feel pretty humiliated. I'm trying to sit here and literally look for reasons for me to blame. But any reason I choose comes back to me. Well, we had to die eventually. And I did say at some point or another, when we died, that was going to be it. God fucking damn it. This is not how I wanted this LP to end. Not like this. I've wanted to make seven days. It just... It just shows you. You've got to be on the ball the whole time. No fucking around. No messing about. Thorough with everything. stupid well I guess that's it for dead writing not how I planned this to end at all but well here we are ah oh, man
I can only apologize, folks. I can only apologize. So, future Dead Rising plans. Of course, I have no choice. But I, I, I simply have to at least show off Dead Rising 2, which I personally, I think I slightly preferred over Dead Rising 1. There's pros and cons for both. Um, I know not everyone was the biggest fan of Dead Rising 2. Um, however, certainly I have some interest in showing off that game. And that series in total, I've got also some of the other bits and pieces. There's obviously, you've got the, 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 the prequel to that, um, Case Zero, which I've got, which I might well show off. Doing that also can be handy and give you a little bonus running into uh, the main game. You've got Case West, which is kind of like... Case West is a really weird one. Um, it's like a... I, I, like a, an extra chapter on the end of the game, but the problem is, is that it then means there's technically two canonical ends for Dead Rising 2. It's really weird, and I'll, I'll be sure to show that off. Um, there is, of course, a remade version of Dead Rising 2, because of course Dead Rising 2 you don't play as Frank, uh, you play as uh, Chuck Green. Uh, there was a remade version of Dead Rising 2 where you do actually play as, uh, as Frank. I've never played it myself, um, and to start with, at least, I will be showing off the normal version. But depending on how that LP goes, I could be persuaded, perhaps, look to uh, play the uh, other version. Off the record, I believe it is. There are some changes. Obviously, having Frank and I to do some extra bits and pieces to bring back photography, bits and pieces like that. Uh, but there are other things as well. I am aware um, that I believe the story is modified a little bit. Um, there are some changes to the actual story. Um, for off the record, because um, obviously you're not playing as Chuck, you're playing as Frank, and things are moved around strategically. Uh, I am aware of that much, at least. Um, and I will certainly be interested in looking to do that. I mean, to be fair, it's been a quite an entertaining LP. Uh, I've enjoyed it. It's been 30 videos of pretty good stuff. Some really annoying mechanics. Um, certainly the, the transfer is kind of annoying. The Air Duct of Hell. Stupid, utterly stupid game design, and... There is no defending it, unfortunately. There really isn't. At least in Dead Rising 2, they realised that and they improved it massively. So, I'll be looking forward to that. But yeah, certainly got to say, I would say uh, Dead Rising 2, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, and I'm looking forward to doing that. Uh, hard to say when, um, but uh, stay tuned for more news on that, folks. That is going to bother me so fucking much. So fucking much. God fucking damn it. <laughs> All you can do is laugh. All you can do is laugh. <sighs> so dumb. So dumb. So, I'm in the Black Shadow. Hope you've enjoyed this blast of uh, Infinity Mode. There is one thing I have to tell you, which makes this even more painful. I told you guys that I had made a, um, like a, a test run, or a couple of few test runs of this. Some didn't go well, some went alright. There's one thing I do have to show you. I don't know if I can actually physically show you this. Mega Man Tights. Why not? Because, as I said, some of the runs didn't go so great and I died, as I've mentioned before. But there, I did have one half-decent run that went... Well, to be honest, it went pretty well, I've got to be honest. Allow me to show you something here before we bring this LP to its official close. Which is just rubbing even more salt into this room. Because you'll notice that I've got hold of every single other achievement in this game apart from that one. Now, one of the uh, uh, things that did happen. Uh, let me go to... I don't want that. I want survival ranking. So if I go to my uh, my rank, wherever I am. Let's go to friends rank. That'll do. So you get to see some people that I know. Five days, 23 hours, and 31 minutes. Now, 
that run there was it was a practice run. However, the thing that makes this even worse is that although I died at five days, twenty three hours, thirty one minutes, I wasn't killed. Because I wanted to not do this. I, basically, the plan was I was basically going to have a decent run, get up to five days so I could show off the uh, laser sword, get everything else so I could show everything off, and I would leave the seven-day survivor one so that I could actually get it while recording and say, yes, I've got my achievement, crowning glory. I could have very easy... I had enough health on me to stand in one place at that point and just tick over the health I had in my inventory, not do anything for two hours, you know, read a book, do something more productive, and I could have sat there for two hours and just let my health run away, heal as I went, and get the seven-day survivor. And I turned it down so I could get it while recording. Do you know how much that hurts? A lot. <sighs> so brutal. This game is so brutal. So brutal. Well, at least I didn't encounter any game crashes and I didn't have any footage that got completely corrupted while uh, recording this. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. But that is going to be all for this one. So thank you very much, guys, very much for watching uh, Dead Rising, both the campaign a couple of months ago, and for those of you who have uh, come back to watch the Infinity Mode run, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Of course, I've had to record this all in one go over the course of two days. It's just coming up to midnight again. Um, And yeah, that is going to be all. And I'm sure my PC is uh, probably the most relieved person or thing in the world that... I've died, so it doesn't have to go keep going nuts with all this recording it's had to do. There, there, the PC. I'll get you some, like, liquid nitrogen or something. You can cool down. You'll be fine. So, thank you guys very much for watching, and, uh... I guess I'll see you guys soon. Ta-ta for now.